Okay everybody, here I am again with another video game. This one's for the Game Boy Advance. <clears throat> it's called Tiny Toon Adventures Scary Dreams. I'm playing on the MGBA emulator. Okay. <clears throat> Who can I be? Partner select. I'll pick Plucky. He could be my partner. All right, let's see here. Whoop! Oh, okay. Now, I can uh, kick, punch. Is that... Okay, what's that? What does that do? Nothing. Oh, would you guys stop for a minute so I can see? Oh, I can call Plucky. If I press this, he comes out. And he does an uh, anvil that falls on your head. <clears throat> okay, how do I jump? Do I jump? Is there a jump button? Okay, what's that? That just calls Plucky Duck. There is no jump. Oh, you push up to jump? Would you go away for a minute? You stupid panther. You jump... By pushing up. Oh, wow. They, they could have done better than that. They really could have. Who wants to press up to jump? Most games... That's a sign of a bad game. Because most games don't have that. Look, you can't help but jump. You don't mean to. You just can't help it. Wow, these stupid... Uh... This button does nothing. That jumps, that punt, punch, and then Plucky Duck comes out. Is that his name, Plucky Duck? Yes, yeah, it's just Plucky right there. Look, I gotta press up to jump. They didn't have enough buttons. Come on, drop the thing. Uh, of course, it's there. <laughs> They need some one-hit kills would be good. Well, it looks like I have nine of those attack anvil things there. The power moves they do. I don't know. I mean, it's not bad for the graphics. I mean, for what it is, right? I mean, basically, Game Boy Advance is pretty much just the Super Nintendo handheld. That's basically what it is. I remember they tried to say, oh, it's 32-bit. Yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. These are Super NES graphics right here. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they say. There's no way, no how that that is... Uh, no, that's not 32. I think they actually said that when it came out. I recall reading that. Because I got a Game Boy Advance a long time ago. I had one on uh, reserve, too, when it came out. Uh, I had the blue one on reserve. And what happened? What did I get? I ended up getting the ice one. I didn't want the ice blue one. I don't like looking through them. I don't like that. I want to... Uh, see the case without knowing what's in there think about what would you do if you went to pick up your girlfriend you could see into her body and see like her bones and her her everything else it's like i don't want to see inside okay all right all right well where are you plucky plucky where are you look he don't even know where to come out And just stand here. There. Okay, you bats done now? Oh, wow. This is really, uh... A lot of bats here. There we go. Now I can move? It's not a bad little game so far. I say so far because I'm sure they'll mess it up. Because most of these game companies tend to do that.
the uh, how to uh, drop the stupid anvils is pretty dumb. Here, come up here. Nope, I won't. No, why won't he come over here? Oh, I don't like that, though. You should be able to assign where the anvil falls. That I don't like. If that or I'm doing something wrong, which wouldn't surprise me. I haven't played a Game Boy Advance game on here for a while. I think I've done a few. I just felt like trying one. Do I have any more? Oh, I don't have any more. It said you start with nine, but I must have used them all. Can I switch guys? Nope, I can't. Now all I've got is punch or kick if you're in the air. So basically the anvil's all right. I can run. Just stand here and punch. Just stand here and punch. That's all you can do. No more anvils. Yeah, you start with nine. It says nine, but uh, you don't get any more. Can't duck. I'm dead? I thought I had codes. Boy, those codes didn't work too good. Want to continue? Honestly? No, I don't. Uh, the codes didn't work. I should have tested them first. Those codes didn't do any good at all. I don't know what happened. They seem to be working all right. Maybe it was a glitch. Who knows? Who cares? Tiny Toon Adventures Scary Dreams. The only thing scary about it is uh, the fact that you have to push up the jump. Because you should have a jump button. I don't care. They should have made one of the shoulder buttons to activate uh, your partner to show up and drop his anvil. The, the jump should have been one of the regular buttons. You know, I know the Game Boy Advance had at least two buttons. There's no way, no reason they couldn't have put jump and then punch on, you know, different buttons and then had your shoulder button for uh, your, your character to show up and uh, help out. So, honestly, it's all right, but you got to find some good codes. If you don't, you might as well just throw it in the toilet. <laughs> I can't throw it in the toilet because I downloaded it. And that's all it's worth. <laughs> Alright. Bye, kids.